You mentioned before cruel prices for palm oil. Tell us exactly how low can prices still go and how long can they stay there before we see a recovery? Sure. Uh, I use the word cruel because as uh, near as the 13th of January, we were in a bull market and prices were in excess of 3,100 ringgits a ton. And today, in fact, yesterday, prices broke the 2,000 ringgit barrier. So we've fallen in a matter of three months from 3,100 ringgits to 2,000 ringgits. And we are now getting very close to what I believe is the cost of production, which is about 1,800 ringgits. So that is why this has been a very cruel uh, season for palm oil. And it has come about for two reasons. One is, of course, COVID, the medical emergency that the whole world is facing. And secondly, the collapse in energy prices which has exacerbated an already sick situation. In terms of the production picture that we're seeing in Malaysia and Indonesia, uh, to what extent does that production start to be curtailed when these prices, and if these prices continue to drop? You're looking at around 1,800. Uh, do you expect to see production start to be curtailed now uh, from these two major producers? No, I'm afraid not. Palm oil is a tree crop. You cannot switch it on, you can't switch it off. And you can't plant less. You have to harvest and you have to bear the production. This is one of the tricky things about having a tree crop, a perennial crop. So I'm afraid we are in for, in fact, an increase in production. Because remember, we had an El Nino drought in 2018. 2019 production was affected by that. Now we are in what I would call the full season. And post-Ramadan, starting from June, July, we are going to be in the high season of production. So we've got a, a deadly cocktail of rising production and cratering demand. And that is the reason. The market is always looking six months ahead. And the market has already discounted a lot of the demand destruction. But I'm afraid there's still a little more room for prices to go down in order that palm oil becomes a compelling proposition for the edible market. I don't think we will get back the biodiesel demand very easily, but we may be able to get back some of the edible demand as the world recovers, as the economies begin to recover. And then, of course, if prices get cheaper, then the subsidy required to convert it to biodiesel may also become affordable. But all this will happen in six months' time. The market has to be braced for several, uh, at least one quarter and several months of difficult days in the days to come. Hmm. Where, where do you think the bottom is then for prices, taking all of that into account? Well, usually in commodity markets, the price goes towards the cost of production. And the cost of production for smallholders in Indonesia and Malaysia is around 1,800 ringgits. So that is why I feel that we have some room for prices to shed. I don't think prices will go to catastrophic levels as in the old days because uh, the world is now much more efficient and the worst of the COVID epidemic may be behind us. So if we look forward to a world which is gradually coming back into traction with mobility and transport coming back to older levels, not immediately, but in say three, six months time, then I think we should look forward to better days probably from the last quarter of 2020 and definitely in 2021. Mm. And Dora, you mentioned about the question mark, which is the demand for biodiesel, which, of course, the, the Indonesian and Malaysian governments are most exposed to this. Can, can these governments afford to push ahead then for, for their own biodiesel programs, or are they going to have to start adjusting no, or even I... abandoning those mandates? Some of the mandates will get abandoned or will get adjusted automatically. I have more faith in the government of Indonesia, which is very determined to make a success of it. But I'm afraid the whole program has now become unaffordable. Malaysia, the less said, the better. I think the Malaysians have already thrown in the towel and said that they will, they will look at it in 2021. But Indonesia may make a fight of it. But I'm afraid 
the barriers in terms of affordability are now so huge that Indonesia will have to compromise and curtail its, its program. Even if they don't officially curtail it, the market and the practicality of the market will force them to curtail the program. And everywhere else in the world also, mm. the biodiesel programs are getting hurt because of the unaffordability. The problem is the culprit is not palm oil. The cul culprit is crude oil and WTI and all that has been happening before that. That's right. Uh, China, though, is restarting its economy. Is that going to help palm oil prices in any way? I'm afraid not. China helped palm oil prices to propel a bull market last year because of the swine flu in China. The, the crush, the crushing of soybeans and rapeseed fell in China by about 12 million tons, which meant that about two to two and a half million tons of vegetable oil had to be imported. And palm oil was the main beneficiary of that. But that is history. That happened in 2019. Now, in fact, as you rightly said, the Chinese economy is coming back. And that means the Chinese crush, where they crush soybeans and rapeseed. Just in the last three weeks, China has normalized its relations with Canada, which means they will import canola seed from Canada for crushing within China. The more oil seeds China crushes, the more veg oils they produce locally, the less they need to import. So I'm afraid China, from being a bullish factor, becomes a non-factor or a slightly bearish factor to the palm oil economy this year. Mm. So China potentially a slightly bearish factor. What about India? What is your outlook for demand in terms of imports, Indian imports of palm oil? Well, the Indian economy has been slowing down and the lockdowns have uh, really hit the economy badly. So consumption is falling. Uh, to give you an example, in the last three months, India has been importing about 300,000 to 350,000 tons of palm oil. India used to import 600 to 700,000 tons of palm oil. So we estimate that in, uh, in the oil year 2020, Indian demand for palm oil will shrink from 9.5 million tons to 7.5 million tons. This is a factor that the palm oil producers completely ignored completely overlooked and that is why you saw the knee-jerk reaction in the last couple of trading days in the market when suddenly they found that the Indian demand is much softer than they expected. It will come back but it will only come back at lower prices and much later when the Indian economy begins to sing once again and that may not happen until the fourth quarter of 2020. So I'm afraid both India and China mm. Don't bring good news to the palm oil market. That's a tragedy. Uh, uh, that's a tragedy. And you've talked about palm oil's link to diesel prices turning sour as well. What is the significance then of that divergence? No, I think, I think sometimes in commodity markets these things happen and everything goes wrong for a particular commodity. And I'm afraid palm oil is in that terrible spot at the moment. The pivot to energy has, has not worked to its advantage. Mind you, it worked to its advantage beautifully from 2004 till 2012. And uh, now, of course, even the edible demand has uh, sort of uh, tapered a little bit. But, as they say, the seeds of the next bull market are sown in the current bear market. So I have no doubt that in 2021, we will see a wonderful scenario opening up with better edible demand and also the link to biodiesel coming good. Because I don't think these prices of uh, WTI and Brent are sustainable in the medium term. I think these are aberrations in the market that we are seeing. Uh, consumers can enjoy them as long as they last. But at some stage, good sense will prevail. I think the Saudis, the Russians are already started uh, showing signs of uh, sensible behavior. So, but it will take time, not immediately, but in three to four months' time. And, we, and palm oil will have to bear pain for three to four months. But from the last quarter of 2020 and for, for sure 2021, we will see better prices.